Alright, I got this. Okay, what, what's your loot box? Loot boxes? Loot boxes? I don't know, it looks like a loot box from an angle. I'm, it's that whole faded. There we go. It's the Mario box. Yeah, uh, this thing. Drinking according to video game. Oh boy. Oh, I guess I have to read this to you because we all know you have a problem. You with video games? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Neuro Underground Podcast. This is podcast, what, nine? Who knows? I, I don't have... This is a very unusual podcast because, as you can first and foremost see, it's just two of us. Um, we, we are normal people. We, we don't do this full time and life is a thing and so a lot of our other hosts are actually out doing... Uh, normal well, things life you know yeah. everybody's got something going on actually some members are dealing with grief others are working a job others just got off a job stuff like that and so scheduling doesn't always work every single time but Janka is a hero amongst men what's up <laughs> so yes welcome to the podcast where we talk about what's trending in the nerd world <sighs> what is trending in the nerd world it don't seem like a whole lot Ka. What do you mean, man? There's so many things going on. <laughs> it don't seem like a whole lot. Oh, I can name at least like two things going on. All right, go. Oh, now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. He's like, once I Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, well, first and foremost, uh, Sea of Thieves, dude. Dude. That's a game everyone's been looking out for. for I was going to say that, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Took my answer. Okay, well, you asked me right now. And the other thing would be, uh, this whole, uh, this whole, uh, mobile gaming i remember a time mm. when everybody Plates. some people used to say <laughs> oh mobile gamers aren't real gamers and i'm like they're not real gamers but no mobile gaming should not be considered gaming at all nah i beg to differ it's totally different now from when i said that though yeah so now i'm just like eating my own words <laughs> it's just like yeah. shit pubg and even fortnite going to mobile that's ridiculous yeah. os and uh well android, android users mm -hmm. yeah everyone's on it that's, uh, it's hard to think about that. Hi, Whisper. <laughs> uh, there's a cat here. There's uh, always a cat. <laughs> we, have, we have a new cat, and she's adorable. Come here. Ratings go up of kitty videos. <laughs> <laughs> cat videos. All right. I could talk about Sea of Thieves, especially because that's what I was doing right before he showed up. Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually gaming with uh, another podcast host, uh, Thomas King, of That King Thing Gaming Podcast. <laughs> Hey, short room. Cat. Her name is Whisper. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, hit the mic. My bad. This cat hit the mic. What do you have to say for yourself? Silent treatment. That's what really thought. All right, you're scaring her. Maybe. I don't know. It's I hard to tell. She's not like a normal cat where, like, put me down. No, this cat kind of just... She's cute. She's chill. She's chill. Mm -hmm. she's, she's everything you would want from a cat. All right. <laughs> With, like, a, you know, like, whiskers and a tail and... All right, yeah. Ears, that's now, what I like in cats. You're getting, you're getting. Anyways, <laughs> uh, kitty tangent. We're a little hyper. I'm especially hyper because I was enjoying Sea of Thieves a lot. Oh, yeah? It, I mean, first and foremost, I'd say, though, it's a game that you have to play with other people. Not that, oh, it's better with other people or, or playing with friends. That's true, especially true, but the game does not really give you much of an option to play by yourself. Oh, sailing by yourself is hard. Okay, well, Captain Jack Sparrow did that. Opening of his first movie right there. <laughs> ship was just underwater. As it was sinking. As it was sinking, yes. Um, that was much smaller than the boats that you get to deal with? Yeah. You get two choices. You get a galleon mm -hmm. or you get a sloop. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, sloop is a smaller version of, well, it's not even a smaller galleon. It's just a... It's just a it's dinghy. A, it's a ship. It's a dinghy with a... A blanket on top. <laughs> <laughs> you catching the wind? I'm catching some Zs. Mm. Nap time. Oh, that reminds me of a story I gotta tell. So for matchmaking, it was giving us, giving us some issue. There was a group of four of us, and that's the max number you could do for matchmaking off of the main menu. And it's day one. It's giving us some problems. Mm -hmm. But then we figured out the system. We uh, Three of us in the matchmaking sign in, Piss off the fourth rando, because it will put a random person on the crew. Piss him off, and you don't have the option, whereas, like, if the majority vote is to boot this person, they're booted. No, but they do have the majority vote, they get put in the brig. And so that was what we did, because we thought that would just piss him off and they would leave. He didn't leave. Yeah. 
So the three of us went and stood by the brig and whipped out our instruments and just started playing the accordion and this weird loop turning thing. Yeah. We were just playing music <laughs> in front of this dude. And so he just joined in and started doing it too. And we're like, crap, this is not what we wanted. So we all just... Uh, this is where Thomas finally got the idea to send a message to politely ask, which come to find out we should have done that first instead of breaking the guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, hey, we locked you up. Can you leave? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Um, it was, uh, I did the emote to sleep, so I laid down, and he's typing away, but then he looks and he's like, are you asleep on the floor? And I'm like, yep. He's like, all right, I'm gonna fall asleep on it, uh, right next to you too. And then the other guy comes, <laughs> the third guy, we're all sleeping in a weird, like, after kegger party in the living room, kind of, like, the bodies are all over the place. Yeah. So, of course, our prisoner was the smartest too. He's like, okay, me too. <laughs> <It's>, Everyone <laughs> sleeps. It's, uh, Yeah. Yeah, we ended up just kind of like sinking the ship with him in the brig <laughs> while playing music on the deck as it's all going down. <laughs> Titanic style. It Gentlemen, it was a pleasure playing with you. I said that. <laughs> and that's an achievement. Oh, really? Titanic. Oh, my playing God. Playing music while it's sinking. <laughs> oh. The problem is we didn't trigger it because we chose to sink our own ship. You can, what's called scuttling your ship. We think it has to happen naturally, like you got attacked. Yeah. And so instead of abandoning your ship or retaliating, you're just like, screw it. Do, do, do. <laughs> it doesn't even go on down. Yeah, we should have gotten that achievement. But it's probably because we self-destructed in a way. Yeah. Anyways, fucking fun game, but the matchmaking is a little wonky right now. And servers, of course, get just started and everybody's swarming in there. It's a little wonky. Well, it's like the first week, so yeah, it'll be... Yeah. <laughs> there, there's patches that there's going to have to be done. It's probably going to be several weeks before uh, these trolls go away. Oh my gosh. Uh, you can do the mission perfectly. You found the hidden treasure, and you made it all the way back to an outpost to cash it in. There just happens to be a guy waiting just around the corner right next to where you cash it in. He attacks you, grabs it, and he cashes it in. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Sniping, basically, like oh, eBay. Yeah. yeah, it's some shit, man. <laughs> they, a guy did that to us, and you can't do nothing when you're carrying the chest. You can't fight or nothing. You actually have to drop the chest to fight. And you can't have like a bodyguard. See, that's what we worked out later because I didn't know that was going to be a problem. If I was there, I would have been like, all right, you know, escort style. You in the middle, <laughs> one up front, two in convoy. the back. Yeah, convoy. And just check this out, you know. <laughs> We did end up doing that, and we were actually really smart about it, um, mm -hmm. to the point that they engaged on us first. We didn't just, like, troll them or, or just, like, uh, bully our way through. It was like, hey, wait, get out of the way. we got to go get our bank, you know. No, we pulled up to the outpost, and we, we saw there was another ship, and they were like, okay, where's the guys at? Are they on the ship? Are they out shopping, you know, going to these vendors and all that? So we were looking around. And then we spot that one of them was creeping around a giant boulder coming closer to our ship. So we're like, oh, okay, they're probably going to you know, try something. So we, we got to play this smart. Mm -hmm. And uh, one guy ran out as a distraction, swimming around and not engaging. Yeah. While we kept coasting by, waiting for an opportunity to grab and run or jump and bolt it, you know, like the smallest amount of distance to travel. Kind of worked out. Eventually, though, they opened fire on us, so, of course, it's the whole situation of, we ain't going to start it, but we're going to finish it. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we finish it? <laughs> Not only did we kill them, they have to wait in this, like, weird uh, underworld kind of loading place. It, it looks like the ship, but, like, the dead person version of the ship. You got skeleton busts and chains and rattling and weird ghostly shit and all that. It's the fairy of the damned or the doomed. It's probably not the damned. My bad. Uh, yeah, a dam holds water <laughs> Shut up. from like a river pouring <laughs> out. Just FYI. Um, and we killed them, and when you load back out, you load up on your ship. Well, if they don't have a ship to load up to, it creates a new ship further away from the incident. Well, then so that's they're what ship out of luck, aren't they? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, we killed them. Mm -hmm. Tom jumped on their ship, which was one of the little small ones, the sloop, mm -hmm. and he directed it to ram into a fucking boulder. Oh, really? A cliff, basically, to damage it to where it would take water and sink, and it's done so. Mm -hmm. They already spawned back and was roaming <laughs> around the, the outpost island, 
while he's roaming, around, he's sailing around with their ship, <laughs> and we're waiting on our ship because we thought they were going to retaliate, and we have a galleon. It's you know main uh, top deck, mid deck, and our, the bottom. Yeah, we're hiding. We're next to the last bit that we have to grab and go and cash in these you know special skulls and a chest, and we're hiding there with the version of the shotgun. It's the um, uh, uh, buck. Oh, like a blunderbuss or something? There you go, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Jeez, I've never played the game yet. I haven't <laughs> played the game yet, so. You're ready for this game, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we were waiting for anybody <laughs> to just come down that st- that stairs right there into the first deck, and we were just going to be like, bam, blast them. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they never did. He got nervous. And then they started, if your ship is destroyed, you have to go to a murder person. I, I have to say that because that's how Thomas kept correcting me. Uh, I kept saying mermaid. There's an actual mermaid off coast that will put up like a signal flare yeah. for you, not your enemies. You won't be able to see it, but you will be able to see that there's a mer person there. Just like, hey, come to me. I'll take you to your ship, which is like a fast travel to wherever your ship is. Or if the ship's gone, it will create the new ship for you, but mm-hmm. elsewhere. So we were actually puppy guarding the mermaid, waiting for them to come to the mermaid. <laughs> And then when I finally saw him, I sniped him. <laughs> and then Tom chased him and shotgun blasted his ass. <laughs> it was nice. fucking hilarious. We finished, and then we sailed off to go on our missions and all that. They found us. Mm-hmm. But there was another galleon that was dealing with a mission. And then they turned on that galleon as well. Because I don't know if they were like, crap, we don't know which one is which. <laughs> they got confused. So not only then the, the, the NPC enemies that eventually started turning on their cannons and shooting at them start fighting him but that other galleon did too at the same time that other galleon eventually opened fire on us and so oh. we sunk everybody <laughs> <laughs> oh we, we pissed off everybody and then we made off with some great great loot it was fucking it's fun it's a fun game and i have stories and i have one particular story that i've been saving for you oh okay pun master what's up there is a food item in this game that works as a health potion right <laughs> It's the banana. Okay. You don't even peel the damn banana. You just go... Arm, arm. The whole thing. Yep. Wow. And there's an achievement for that, too. It's like, eat a banana. Peel and all. <laughs> and uh, when uh, we're in a deep, heavy into combat, we're running around because it's just waves upon waves of these uh, skeleton warriors on this like uh, public event kind of thing. It's almost like a horde mode, and if you survive it, uh, you get some really good loot. Or a lot of gold, really. Uh, we ne- we didn't complete it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> but we're running around looking for bananas in these spot in these crates and the barrels and all that. We're like crap, crap, we're, we we need help. And um, Tom said something like, uh, I- "I'm I'm leading them on and just doing loops around this main building." And he's like, "I got to grab a banana and and run and get out of here." I was like, "Do you mean you got to get a banana split?" Yeah. Um, uh, that's pretty clever. It's pretty, it's, it was beautiful. I felt yeah. like you. I've been in it was that moment in uh, National yeah. Treasure 2. It was like, wait, this is how you feel all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very appealing, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no! Uh, you rained on my parade. <laughs> it's really appealing. I'm a son of a bitch. Yeah. I don't feel like him anymore. Yeah, yeah. I feel like David again. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, only I get to bask in the fruits of this glory, okay? Son of a bitch. <laughs> You're done. We're done with this. All right. I ain't talking about bananas with you anymore. You <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, how do you like those apples? Moving on. <laughs> sea of Thieves. Lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> great, great fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reeling from this. You son of a bitch. Uh, Tomb Raider's been playing, and the reviews have not been good. Oh, no. And I will admit... It was in my uh, agenda to go watch it in the I'm, last two days. Yeah, I'm still going to go watch it, though. I just haven't made oh, it. Oh, I, I will. I just yeah. thought I was in the last two days, but these last two days, it was a weird mixture of important shit to get done, and then when I had finally had free time, oh, I took advantage of that free time. I was just like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> See these? Okay, we know what you did. See these? See yeah. these? Yeah. Yeah, I was playing it for a good solid eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do shit today. No, I didn't even sleep. I, Dude, yeah, my sleep schedule's all messed up right now. <laughs> Working a night job. I'm messed up right now. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's trending. Uh, let's see, video game violence, blah, blah, blah. 
we still we talked about that. We're not going to repeat ourselves. It's in a previous podcast. If you really want to know our opinion, uh, last week's podcast, right? Was it last week's? I think so. Okay, yeah. last week's podcast with Lane. Maybe. Yeah. Was so if you see a guy with a giant beard, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're listening to it, the guy that no. claps and hits the mic a lot. Okay, I don't think I don't think it was Lane then. No? No, no. Was it Moose? Probably Moose. It was the the week before. The week before, two weeks ago, yeah. Uh, it was uh, the Kevin Smith one. Yes. Yes. Should have been that one. Yes. Mm-hmm. If, if you like our banter, there is plenty of it with more people. One of these days, we're actually going to have probably a panel of like five. I could foresee it. The panel of five? Yeah. It sounds like very like court... Order stuff going on. You are to be judged before the panel of five. That sounds oh. very dystopian kind it of shit. It kind of is, yeah. Like Hunger Games is like the panel of five will decide your fate. It's just like, what? Oh, boy. Dude, I'll, like, I've been talking about it a lot, too. I did love this book. I've listened to the audiobook. Scythe, dude. Scythe. Yeah. It's so great. So great. Like, th- that world is so well thought out. It, I loved it. Let's see what's going on in film. Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. Ah, Reviews. Shit, that was this month too? Has that movie came out? Wow, we are behind on a lot of things. I mean, we're not that behind. We got Ready Player One scheduled for next week. Well, that's like the big one that I'm really (laughs) waiting for here. And that's one thing I really want to talk to you about. Oh, boy. Did you finally watch the new trailer? No, I have not. Son of a bitch. (laughs) Yeah, I know, right? I haven't had time for that either. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually a fan of watching trailers. I know, you explained that to me, but uh, for the podcast. I was going to explain it for the podcast. Go ahead and explain. Go for it. (laughs) Not everything's around you, Dave. (laughs) Just kidding. Just do it. (laughs) Um, No, I'm not crazy about watching uh, trailers because they kind of are very misleading sometimes. You're just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, in this particular case, I'm one of those people who are like, oh, well, the book had nothing to do with that. But... You know, I, I'm not going di- to dive into that, so... Oh, no. Yes, we are. Oh, God. All right. That's why I asked you if you've seen the trailer, because <sighs> both of us like the book. Yes. And so we're going to talk about the change. We're not going to bitch, though. This oh, is I'm not, not a bitch I'm fest. I'm not going to complain. This is not a bitch fest, actually, uh, no. for, se- for a couple reasons. One, I'm not kind of like, hey, I'm not going to, like... I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt until I see it. And two, um, that's an annoying behavior. Yeah, really, yeah. I don't want it that to be me. So how we're gonna go about this for Ready Player One, which is gonna have some slight spoilers, well, slight maybe to the moderate level. I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna talk about what we saw, and we can judge, mm-hmm. in the sense of okay, we could see what they changed, but we're not gonna be those people that be like, mm, no. Well, yeah. Well, wasn't like that in the book. <laughs> Nope, that never happened in the book. Oh, the book did it differently. We're, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. We're not going to be that. We're just going to be like, okay, so it looks like this, this, and this is going to be this, actually. Yeah. You know, we're going to do that, kind of like what we do with Infinity War. Did you even see the Infinity War in either? I think so. Don't let me know. I have no idea. It came out Friday. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> oh, this Friday? No, I haven't seen Last it. Last Friday, man. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. It came out like maybe during Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah. February? A month oh, ago? Oh, my gosh. This is turning into reaction videos. Now. Oh, right. React. Janka reacts. Well, I'm going to show you the newer trailer because I do know you saw the other ones okay. before this one. Uh, probably because I showed you, maybe. Uh, also, YouTube sometimes doesn't want to skip ads. Well, you probably didn't see this one yet. Have not. All right, I've got the sound on. We're going to watch this. Uh, it's the Ready Player One Dreamer trailer, the one that came out just, uh, what is it, says five days ago. Oh, boy. The day we're recording, so it's probably a week when this uh, podcast comes out. And I apologize once again to audio listeners mm-hmm. because uh, you can't see this. Yeah, but you can watch this if you pull up your own. Just go to YouTube. Yeah, just go to you're YouTube. You're on the TV. And while you're there, just uh, you know, watch, you know, like, share, subscribe to us. Boom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I knew we had to do that. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God! I'm just kidding. <laughs> you just climbed up that wall. I know. Is this right? Assassin's Creed? Oh boy. Paper. Oh God! Crotch shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the Junka commentary. Yes. The harmonica you gonna play. Harmonics? Yeah, you know how they put harmonicas around there? Oh! Yeah. Watch back. <laughs> I didn't make that connection. Ooh, a shot we've seen, but with this. This is the Oasis. Yeah, okay. imagine. That's legit. Ain't a it? whole yeah, it could be. universe. There's too much to look you at in these shots. Anything. Yeah. Be anyone. Very video game. Without going anywhere at all. Okay. 
remember this moment right here. The Oasis was created by James Halliday. Remember this. And what he left behind <laughs> changed everything. A Crystal key. Three IOI. impossible challenges. It's the first no, it's not. <laughs> Which means complete control of the future. Yeah. Deathstroke. We've seen this shot. Gotta be yeah. about connecting with someone. And technically the shot. World. So we take it together? Sure. Get all the 80s music. Yep. Every time they show new things about this race, yeah, it's more badass. Yeah, no, this race is crazy. Boom. It's terrifying. Must go faster. Must go faster. Very faster. Mm, I can't even begin to guess what scene that is. Okay, look at that iron giant just wrecking shit. Alright. Save the oasis. That must be that temple. Or the castle, I mean. Yeah, no, this is all fun. Keep going. Are you ready? I'll wave to you from the finish line. McFly. That's cool. Signing out. That went well. <laughs> well. And that's H, I guess. Or, I'll take it. Yeah, it's H. It's All right. H. Ready player one. Mm-hmm. As I said, that, that chase slash race gets more and more intense every time they show something new about it. Yeah. But right off the get-go, anybody who's read the book went, wait, what? moment yeah. is this i mean there is some space where the book doesn't fill you in what happened there's just like oh for the last three months parcival has just been you know having the time of his life you know, he's rich now blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. maybe that's when it happens no i think it's because what the challenges are mm -hmm. they can't do that they yeah. don't have the rights to like the movies or well, you know, yeah. stuff like that so this is the new version of being able to get away with that mm -hmm. well, i think the first challenge will be the same okay but this might replace the second one, uh, War Games. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, that well, was the second one. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't yeah. really know from the from the book, the ch one of the challenges is uh, basically you have to live in a in the movie in a movie. Yeah. Like, well, War Games is the one that we're talking about. That was in the second challenge. You're basically the main actor in the movie War Games, and you have to say every line. You have to basically, just quote it. And do everything. Right? Yeah. Granted, you know, like, there's arrows on the ground that'll tell you, go this way. You know, like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to go out that door. But whenever someone approaches you, you have to use the same dialogue and everything. Same fluctuations, too. You get bonus points and stuff like that. So we can't just go to a movie theater and expect some guy <laughs> to play the movie War Games in a movie within a movie. That's too Inception. Well, well it wouldn't do the whole movie. It'd cut away. After, you know, it'd well, show, I know. Well, it'd show him up to learning, oh, I need to do it just like the movie. Yeah. I can do this. And then, it, you know. Well, yeah, no, but like, I mean, it's just one of those things where like, if there's multiple movies and it's in the whole book and all that good stuff. Yeah, there's two movies. Well, and plus, another big thing, like, I know, that, like, I know there was a lot of people complaining Saying like, oh, what's the Iron Giant's role in there? You know, there's, I've seen it on comments. People are just like, that's not even the, the robot he picked. No, it's because, you know, well... He picked the uh, Speeder Man. Yeah, Le Le Leopardon. Uh, Leopardon, he, yeah. Yeah, from from a Japanese... Japanese uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, show. And, uh, well, you know, one of the big things about a book like this, which makes perfect sense, where I'm like, no, there's no way they can make a movie off of this. There's so many name drops, there's so many things going on, they can't oh, get yeah. the rights. Sadly enough, Spielberg had said, he's like, I tried, I tried so hard, even with my buddy, George Lucas, I couldn't even get the rights to any kind of... Star Wars theme craft or anything. Well, it's also yeah. Warner Brothers and Disney are technically rivals in a way. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. they tried really hard, even though, you know, they were just like, just one X Wing. Come on, please. No, nothing. So. Oh, he had an X Wing too. Yeah. No, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just one X Wing. No, nothing. They couldn't get anything Star Wars related. That's so. shitty. Yeah. Um, uh, but I do go into this movie understanding, yes, rights is a pain in the ass. I mean, that's why we're not getting the perfect Marvel Universe with the X-Men and the Fantastic Four yep. and all the Spider-Man and Venoms and all that. You know, it's just, it's because everything is all over the place. From Legal rights. loopholes and the good stuff, you know? It's weird. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else? Ready Player One. Okay, 
what I pointed out when he was walking on that treadmill, mm -hmm. it was a one directional treadmill. Yeah. That's not even how VR works now. When they do have that weird ass, it's like a concave little crater, rolling balls, kind of, and you got shoes that barely put you on them. Yeah. And you kind of glide over it. And you, you know, I mean, you have to adjust it so your legs don't like hit it in a weird angle or something like that. Yeah. And VR is a pain in the ass, and that's why I'm not a fan of it. But Please. in this book, Ready Player One, his first setup he had, which was given to him for school, and he used it for personal reasons and all that, like everybody in the world, when you're done with school, the internet technically is the oasis. They don't even use computers like they, we do. Mm -hmm. You sit back. Yeah. You can hand control stuff. I'm sorry, I'm pulling it back to sneeze. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you, uh, he, you could just chill. Well, yeah, in the in the book, like his little hangout spot, uh, he had like a fold out chair, and that's where he sat yeah. down for class. And you know, I guess like you know, we we you remotes, you know, where you're mm -hmm. just like, oh yeah, you know, left stick forward, right stick look around. I'm assuming, right? Well, it's kind of like the vibe controllers and yeah. what Steam and them use. So I was just like, oh okay, yeah, but here you know, you pointed it out, like, oh yeah, he's got a treadmill. I'm like, yeah. In, in the hideout, too. In the hideout, too. Nonetheless. Yeah. Because later on in the book, yeah, he did get, like, a very fancy omnidirectional pad so he could With go... With a crane. With a crane, all that and good all stuff. That. And all that. But he also made himself hairless. <laughs> Which so he is... could fit in a full body suit. Yep. That can simulate touch and stuff like that. It, the book gets a weird turn at that point because you're like, whoa. Yeah. He was interval. This becomes ultra interval. <laughs> yeah, no, there's... there's... But I, a different level of know, introverted. I don't know if that bugs me or not. Like, it's cool that the book <laughs> he started out off in Oklahoma City. Yeah. In the stacks. Maybe it's because there's one chunk of this world that it looks like they cut out. Because in his monologue in the trailer, he's like, "I'm from Columbus, Ohio. It's one of the fastest growing cities." Blah 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 blah. And it's like he eventually in the book moves to Columbus, Ohio because it's better internet. It's closer to the actual. Oasis servers that are not owned by the rival company, IOI, mm -hmm. and all that shit. And he was able to lay low, but yet have the best advantage where he went. But what happened in between, he had to take this weird Greyhound convoy, like, oh, yeah. scary bus from hell ride. Because outside the city limits of major cities is just lawless badlands. Yeah, like Mad Max themed. And that's what exactly what I thought. And I was like, oh, that's... That's kind of cool. It's like a genre within a genre that I like. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, this is going to be cool. It looks like they just skipped that out, and that's a huge part of that world, in mm -hmm. my opinion, because yeah. everybody is so yeah huddled up, but yet we cannot be so far away from each other because we're doing this oasis diving in and blah, 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 shit. I don't know. I'm not, uh, okay, I'm not bitching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I know it's interesting, and I know uh, mm. Spielberg always does really good stuff. And he he worked with uh, the author and his client. And, yeah, he did. And he was just like, all right, we're going to go on this together. Movie magic can't always make a book, but, you know, they're, they're trying. And, you know, I'm going to go in full support. So I'm The gonna... fact that this, this phenomenal, colossal damn novel... Mm -hmm even got turned around into a film that's just yeah. immaculate and uh you know if it's got even like 70 percent of the book in it yeah damn and actually parsifal looks like how i kind of pictured him oh really <laughs> to be honest yeah like when i saw that as his avatar i was like yeah actually yeah hmm. whereas in the book they make Wade out to be a lot fatter <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and then later on a lot more matrixy like, I just came out of the Matrix. <laughs> That's how I pictured, like, in the beginning of, like, Neo when he woke up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have wrinkles. You never used them. Or, I <laughs> or I, I can't, I, my muscles aren't working. You never had to use them before. What? <laughs> I don't <remember>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Another thing. It looks like he meets, uh, I'm forgetting her real name. Uh, Artemis. Artemis? Yeah. yeah What's her uh, real name again? Man. I don't remember. I'm putting you on the spot now, too. Yeah. <laughs> We're both going down. No, uh, let's see. Uh, I can't remember. I'm <laughs> sinking. <laughs> Titanic. Uh, but anyways, Artemis. It looks like they meet... Before. During the yeah. revolution and all this, and working together as a team, where it's way cooler in the book that it's it's a weird 
pent up reveal. Nah, I don't think it's cool. I think that's like, man, that's uh, that's like a bitch move right there. She's like, oh, I, I, I'm like part ugly. I don't want you to see me in real life. Uh, only when this is all said and done, then we can see face to face for the first time. I'm like, man. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. She puts my boy Parzival out on the spot. He starts crying in a party and everything. Oh. And then he's just like, well, you know, like, what the hell? Why'd you do this to me? And she's yeah. like, nah, you did this. I'm like, she turned it on him. I was like, oh, wow. Man, you, you deserve better. You know, and I felt like I could go in and just like pet him on the back and be like, it's okay, man. It's all good. No, nothing. We perceived this differently. Yeah, no. Well, <laughs> because <laughs> cause I kind of I understood that she didn't want to give in to this. Because they did banter it back and forth as like, it's not real. This is not the real world. Mm -hmm. uh, what you're feeling for me is what you're feeling for me. I could be a dude for all you know. And this is a problem we have nowadays. Yeah, everyone's just like, <laughs> you're talking to girl online, man. <laughs> That's a dude. That's a dude. <laughs> Definitely That's dude. Big Joe. We all know he loves some shit. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, no, and I was just like, wow, no, this guy was just like, dude, I don't even care about the treasure. I don't care anymore. The only thing I care about is, is you know, us, the feelings. He the found emotions. love. He found the love, right? And, you know, and she's just like, nah, you know what? You know what's more important than your your little love? Money. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, she also had a good motive. She was going to use that money for good. Yeah. Which is, comes to me back around to, uh, I hate that they're trimming out this, what the world is outside cities, is because the world is really fucked up, and her motive for winning in this contest is not control, but she wants the money to help turn the world back on its feet. Yeah. I, uh, when, when I learned that and it was just like, okay, this is not a shit character. All right. Yeah. Nah, I disagree. <laughs> she's she shit. Uh -huh. She's bitch to cock tease. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, when we go see this, we'll be able to say how we feel about the portrayal, not betrayal. Bro. No, it's, it's betrayal. Shut up. <laughs> Capital B. <laughs> Trail. We'll see, but are you excited for uh, Ready Player One? Do you, do you read the book? Listen to the book? Audible? Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, we can yeah. talk about it before it comes out. we got a week. Got some time. And uh, actually, next week's podcast might be different because I'm thinking we should go watch it mm -hmm. and then podcast afterwards. Ooh. How would you guys like that? You know what? You guys don't get to decide. We get to decide. <laughs> we get to put those shades on, though, because we'll be talking spoilers for sure. Yes. We can't help it. We like talking spoilers. I spoil everything for him. All the time. All yeah. the time. Dude, you should really play this game. It's about this. And let me tell you this story. Oh, well. You wanted to leave who the final boss is. It's yeah. your mom. Jeez. Holy. Yeah. And you thought she was dead. <laughs> I ruin shit for him all the all time. All the time. I'm like, all right. Well, I, I, yeah, I feel bad I'll, some I'll, of the times. I'll play or watch this movie later. <laughs> yeah, that's all I do. <laughs> Let's move on to another movie because the, the clock is coming down to the final uh, moments of what? Ah, we're fine. <laughs> Coming down to the final moments of halftime. No, I'm talking the final moments of uh, this movie release, Infinity War. Oh. It's next month. Next month. It's all, oh shit, yeah. it's getting closer and closer. Oh my gosh, that's why I'm not watching these trailers that are coming out. No, I'm showing no, you these yeah, trailers. Totally. I'm going to show you the new one, because I hope you have the same reaction. Uh, you probably not. Alright, since the clock is coming down to it, I hope you get the reaction that I had to this new Infinity War trailer. Oh, that I guarantee you, I've watched probably a, a several dozen times. <laughs> several dozen times? Several. I'm not even going to put a number. I'm just going to make sure it's HD. Oh, yeah, HD. What 720? What? I'm just kidding. Just 720. Fine. All right. Once again, I'm sorry for the audio listeners, but uh, this has to happen. This needs to happen. Yes. Junka needs to be enlightened. The whole world has gone upside down. That's the first frame of the fucking video. <laughs> huh? It's upside down. Please watch on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, you're about to watch the trailer. Maybe for uh, the hundredth time, like me. All right, ready? Three, two, one. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. One goal. To wipe out half the universe. Pokemon? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. Infinity Stones. He can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. I should turn off the lights. Tell me his name again. <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> Tell me your name again. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> ah, badass Thanos. Oh, that's cool. We got one advantage. 
This is cool. He's coming to us. What the heck? Yep. We met with Thanos once. So that's what we use. Wakanda. Forever. Sure. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. I like that. Right? That's cool. That banter you were waiting for. Yes. The end is near. Oh, Thor. Oh, yeah. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Oh, oh, oh so, so great. Perfectly balanced. Yeah, no, this, this is totally, uh, this is totally worth the wait so far. No joke. Yeah. Just the trailers. <laughs> I hope they're right. Yeah. This is gonna be intense. I know, right? Nice little build up to it, man. Oh, he's got two stones in there. Oh. Holy shit, right? Everybody's like, Cap, no, no. Don't do it, bro. Do it, do it. <laughs> Just do it. Bite him. Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts. <laughs> he's a ball chinny. I'm Peter Ball. <laughs> I'll put him in the butt. <laughs> Using your made-up names, then I am Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm Peter, Doctor Strange. <laughs> oh, made-up names. Okay, uh, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need this movie now. Yeah. Oh no. Holy shit, man! This trailer blew up. Oh, t clearly. I can I, see that's why I'm surprised you haven't seen it. I purposely avoid trailers. That's like, why. Especially while I'm driving on the road. Like, I'm like, oh god, there's a semi truck coming my way. I'm going that way on the right side of traffic. But if you ever see an Avengers trailer on the road, let me know. Take a picture. <laughs> yeah, sure. Record your reaction. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a skin right there. <laughs> trailer reaction. Oh my god! Look at that trailer! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is that new Peterbilt? Oh! <laughs> I haven't been this excited since I saw a Mac trailer. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's one of those like FedEx ones. Oh god, a double feature. <laughs> you all, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, trailer. Infinity War. I'm so, so pumped. So ready. Yeah. And, mm, it's been a 10 year journey yes 18 uh, films oh yeah huh. mm -hmm. holy crap starting all the way to the very beginning with iron man 2008 yes oh yeah that movie blew my mind crazy it blew up box office too because it did superhero movies that people didn't think people could yeah no right it was just like spider-man and x-men that's what they thought of and then boom iron man yeah and then later that year it was a uh, um dark knight and that put everything up on there, just like, yay. Oh, man. Okay, so, John Ka is now educated. Educated. And, uh, hopefully, he is now cursed with the excitement of, like, man, I need this movie. Oh, man, I'm like, I've been wait, waiting for ten years. I can wait, like, another month. <laughs> I can't. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're going to do, like, fanboys. We're going to drive all the way over there to drag, steal a copy. Steal a copy. You haven't seen Fanboys? No, yeah, but I mean, I'm oh. just like, you want to steal a copy? Like, I mean, you I can to, just... I want the movie. Oh, we, we can wait. Like, we're watching... I need it. I need it. You got, like, itching powder or something on you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the joke... Eh. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was my goal, was to educate, or not educate, but uh, just bring you to uh, the now. I love I love Tyrone Magnus' reaction. He wigs out. Reaction videos are fun. We don't do them that often. No, we don't. Probably because when it's like, ooh, reaction video. Or, or a new trailer. We should do a reaction video. Who's available? No one's available. Well, I'm like available. today. I just don't watch trailers. No, no. A lot of times so we're working, say. too. So I'm like, eh, well, you missed that one. I'll watch in theaters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we didn't even know the damn... Uh, Pacific Rim came Pacific in. Rim yeah, I know, Uprising. Right? I, I was trying to remember what the other word was. Oh. Uprising. I just called Pacific Rim 2. I wish it just called it Pacific Rim 2. Yeah. <laughs> Uprising. Why is it always these generic names 
for sequels and stuff just to try and make them sound legit, like oh, wow. Apocalypse or or Revelations or you know these weird they, cool words technically, but they're just way overused yeah. all the time. Return of the King. What? Yeah. Well. Lord of the Rings 3. It doesn't sound as catchy as Lord of the Rings, The Turn of the King. Well, those are just straight <sighs> off named from from the books, bro. Man. Two Towers? It's got two in the title, dude. Exactly, man. <laughs> there was no three in the third one, so I was confused. I, it, it, I was lost. <laughs> Battle of Five, five Armies. Five Armies? Oh, where's the other two that are missing? I saw one and two. Where's three and four? <laughs> There's the good guys and the bad guys. And then who's those guys? And what about those guys? Yeah. And does it really add up to five? Where did those worm things come from, man? Those creatures that dug into the ground? I don't know. They weren't in the book. Dude, they're like locusts. They were not in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Gears of War, man. Those city eaters, dude. Mm-hmm. Joe will tell you about them. Yeah, Joe's seen shit. Joe's seen shit. In video games. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he lives life. Exactly. He probably doesn't even play GTA Five the right way. He's probably like, I'm going grocery shopping. <laughs> I was stressed today, so I'm going for a walk. I might play some golf. (laughs) Yoga! (laughs) He's like, I'm getting in shape. (laughs) We call that pose. Uh. Uh, The lazy otter. Yeah, that's what we call it. (laughs) Otter with a pebble. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Affinity War. Uh, Um... Some of those shots, uh, we really wanted to mention, like uh, when Hulkbuster is standing up and you got Falcon and War Machine flying behind him. Mm-hmm. These are very, I could say, war movie-esque kind yeah. of shots. Yeah. It's like, holy crap. Not just a battle, but like the way they're presented. And that's, oh, man. It's so, it's a weird kind of patriotic feel in a way. Yeah. I mean, well, first of all, I mean, War Machine... They tried to change the name to Iron, Iron Patriot, Patriot, and he was like, "No, nah, I gotta have anything about that." <laughs> Which password? <laughs> War Machine rocks with the with, with the an X. X. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> "Gun aims at the people yes. laughing." And then you have African American Falcon flying overhead too. African American. Well, yeah, because that's what he is. He's the African American Falcon. Oh, we're just gonna like oh. Caucasian Iron Man. Exactly. We're just gonna do that for everybody, huh? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Light green Hulk. <laughs> what about dark green Hulk? Well, that's when he gets angry. Whoa. Or we can just like base it down to like... That's racist. <laughs> blue and yellow combination Hulk going around. What the shit? <laughs> Opaque American. <laughs> Opaque American. <laughs> I don't even know what Opaque is for sure. I just uh, thought it sounded good. <laughs> Yes. Whoever's watching is like opaque. What? Opaque. Oh shit! I gotta Google this. Opaque. Oh boy. What's opaque look like? <laughs> Images. Opaque. I'm seeing. It's not telling me shit. I'm seeing some dice here, some light bulbs. Oh, is it really green? <laughs> oh, opaque. <laughs> you gotta stop with the damn puns. That wasn't a pun. Or. Jokes. Oh, yeah, that was a joke. I'm going to give you a write-up. Mm-hmm. Opaque materials. I guess it is kind of a green? I, I don't know. I'm just... seeing everything, actually. Yeah, I know, right? You failed me, Google. Oh, wait. Nope. That's not going to help. Wait. Green yeah. apple. You know. I don't... I, I, I feel like opaque would be a shade, not a color. I was actually thinking that's like, why I had to guess Like it. something more like trans... Translucent? There we go. Yeah. Transparent oh. or opaque. Oh. It's not a color. <laughs> we oh. get to learn how stupid I am today. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like a color and I just threw it out there. Don't get don't be hating on me. Don't be putting that hate comments below. I'm putting hate comments I below. Hate, I hate your hate comments. <laughs> go hate yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna hate reply to your hate comments. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens when it's just the two of us for a podcast. Mm-hmm. We just go all over the place. We can't even play trend darts. No, we can't. <laughs> I could actually, win actually, and lose to myself. <laughs> I was about to say, just take that trophy home with oh, you. Just... This was the finals, and they decided not to show up. <laughs> <laughs> I win by default. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pissed off Moose would be. <laughs> Very upset. <laughs> is he the one who's got the highest score? Maybe. I think it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. 
That's some shit. We talked some video games. Mm -hmm. We talked some movies. We watched some trailers. We didn't dive too much into the Marvel because I did pump the brakes because we talk about Marvel a lot. Oh, yeah. On yeah. this podcast, a lot. Well, they're the ones doing a lot right now. Uh, true. True, yeah, true. Well, we're going to talk a lot next month, at the end of next month for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we definitely need Joe yeah. for these kind of topics because holy shit. <laughs> A lot going on there. Oh, man. We got uh, not a whole lot going on in video games. Yeah, no. The only one that comes to mind is Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves, yeah. And, he, and he's playing Minecraft. Like a champ. His fort is great. Oh, wait. Your fort keeps spawning creepers? Really? Ridiculously. Oh. And apparently, iron golems don't do shit with them, so they just kind of like walk right past their, each other. And it kind of played off as like, what's up, man? Hey, yeah. As <laughs> they passed by each other. I'm like, do your job. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, at least we can do the whole Rorschach thing. It's like, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> and then you try to go and like dispatch those creatures. Prison rules? Yeah. Break out of the sword and you're like, here's my shank. Be a wooden my sword. <laughs> Just ch -ch -ch. Then you can chew on the handle. <clears throat> then you got to run away. Because they're going to blow up, and then you just got to come back, and then chick, 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 and then you got to run back away, because, you know, wooden swords, <laughs> cheap. Ah, oh, sliver! Yeah. Worse than the actual stabbing. Mm -hmm. Dude, I would take an actual stabbing over having a really super sliver. Ah. Uh, or paper cuts. I don't like paper cuts either. Mm. I'm a pansy. <laughs> I got real quiet, because <laughs> I was nodding to the camera. Yeah. If you're listening, <laughs> I'm apologizing to the audio a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this ain't gonna be a full length podcast. It's just John Con and I. And we talk about what's trending. And, uh, really, when it just boils down to, uh, the newest game of Sea of Thieves, if you didn't already know, PUBG and Fortnite are both moving to the mobile platform. Yep. Which they got crossplay going for that. And where is that fair? <laughs> uh, it's perfectly fair. The crossplay is to PC. <laughs> That's not fair at all. <laughs> just point and click and boom, you just pop someone who's like over here with like a phone. Like, is that a person? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah! hard to tell as it is already. <laughs> that That's some bullshit. I ain't going to try that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go on like a big A tablet, you know, just whoosh. Okay, maybe the tablet's like maybe this big. <laughs> <laughs> tablet. <laughs> <laughs> you got that new smart whiteboard? <laughs> 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 oh god get help from way up there <laughs> oh, getting the eraser when you have a bad score correct like, no <laughs> <laughs> nope. uh let's see and then the movie is about to come out two readers out go check it i'm we're gonna go watch it however reviews are kind of weird and i'm not allowing myself to actually read any of the reviews yeah. well i mean plus i want to be my own judge well, honestly, to be fair uh look at who the competition is as of right now, four weeks in. Black Panther. Uh, you know, it's well, still going. By the time I release this podcast, it should be, I guess, five weeks in. Probably. And yeah, um, Black Panther is killing it. Still up there, <laughs> setting records. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Affinity War broke a record too. Yeah. Um, ticket sales. Oh wow. Uh, beat every other superhero movie of all time in six hours. Hmm. Six hours, huh? It took just six hours. Weren't you part of that group? No, actually, I wasn't. I did in because, seven hours, huh? Well, yeah, well, I was way after the six hours, but I live in a lame town, and not, there's not a lot of nerdy people, and, and not a lot of moviegoers, so I was still able to get my tickets. Whereas, like, L.A., they're done. Yeah. <laughs> Major cities in Texas, they're done. <laughs> New York. <laughs> done. Done. <laughs> done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to go watch Ready Player One, so that's next week's podcast. Well, mm -hmm. we'll tune in for that. Uh, we just shared a few thoughts that we had. Um we could probably elaborate a little more, but we're not going to bitch. I'm tired of this whole, oh, it was the book was better. No shit, the book was well, better. Well, I can't compare. They're I haven't seen the movie yet. They're two different mediums, and I'm never going to actually throw that around for any movie. Oh, yeah. Past, present, future. I'm not going to. Hmm. I don't do that. Well, I mean, like, I want to say that's kind of an interesting topic, too, because, like, now that I think about it, uh, Tomb Raider being a video game movie. It's almost. And everyone's going to complain. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, the game is better. The book is better. Like, it's it's another medium. It's another platform. And, yeah, I get it. You, you know, that's why, like, I mm -hmm. guess in the last podcast we are talking about saying video game movies. Well, it'd be good. Which would be good. Well, there's so many that would be good, but, I mean, can they do it justice? You know, I, I yeah. find it difficult. Because, uh, like, 
too many people have like emotions and memories attached to these games. They're like, oh, I played as hard as I could. I stayed up all night. Well, that's because you know? a lot of things is it puts you you as the hero. Yeah, instead of sitting down so. and watching someone else do it, you're like, oh wow, you know. Well, people do that too. Yeah. Or else Michael Parker and PewDiePie wouldn't be as rich as they are. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming for you. We want that moolah too. All right, yep, yeah, we're just going to wrap it up. Um, there ain't a lot this week. This is actually, not only is it we're short-handed, like your local Taco Bell, <laughs> uh, we, we just, just, it's been a boring week. They didn't do a whole lot, and that's our premise. We uh, talk about what's trending in the nerd world. Yes. We've shared some of our personal thoughts. We've made some jokes. I shared a story about Sea of Thieves, which hopefully enticed you to play it if you have Xbox or PC. Fun. And cross-play, so, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. If you want to... Uh, you know, troll some squeakers on the Xbox. It's possible. Yeah. Just don't troll me. Because it's me. <laughs> it's a bully. <laughs> That's a bully, man. That's a bully. I'm not even going to tell you my gamer tag. And, uh... North Star made God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change it. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I hope you sat through this entire weird-ass podcast. And actually, I'm, I'm kind of curious now, John. What's that? Um, if you liked this format... Where it's just us bullshitting, really, mm -hmm. and we're not anchored down to what's trending, what's going on in the nerd world. If you just want to hear David and Janka bullshit, that could be another podcast. It's a rant going on, some discussion, some open discussion. Quite topics. possibly. He's got also his own fancy mic coming in, too, so we could get real, like, Howard Stern and shit. <laughs> yes. Bob and Tom. <laughs> Oh, crap, we need a female host, too. Parker! Cat, get over here! No, he's just girly looking. I have a girly looking cat. Right, Parker? Yeah. Yeah. I can Anyways. Agree. I can agree. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, I'll show you Parker one day. He'll get his He'll get his day. But for now, we're just going to hang it up and say, thank you for tuning in. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's going to be another day. He got scared. I tried picking him up. He was like, ah! I didn't see that coming! <laughs> this is the weirdest closing ever. They're just like, they're talking about a goddamn cat now. They were just about to say goodbye. We don't do outro well. Oh, we don't. <laughs> or intro. We were giggling ourselves at the beginning. Anyways, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you watch this on YouTube. And we're going to add more, more videos. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Adios. Oh. Oh, what? Thank you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Adios. We got a split. Oh, I already used that one. You did. Mm -hmm. <laughs>